This is a 1,500 horsepower Bugatti Chiron engine swap Maybach Mercedes. And it's one of the new cars in Need for Speed Unbound's new update. And I've actually been playing a lot of this update. EA hooked me up with this update early a couple of days ago, and I've been playing a ton of it. So in today's video, I'm not only going to tell you, but I'm going to show you everything in this new update. From all of the new cars, the new challenges, the emotes, the cops and multiplayer, and more, we're going to jump into everything in today's video. And, of course, that Maybach Mercedes where we jump into all of the customization options. Spoiler alert, it had way more stuff than I thought it would. Anyways, without further ado, let's start things off with those three brand new cars and this, the Lotus Amira Ball Maid. Although it's not actually a new car, it is a special edition of a car we already had in the game. Anyways, if you want to unlock this thing in the game, you have to win an online playlist using any Lotus. Car number two is this thing, the Nissan Z with that crazy Bosuzoku wide body kit. Yes, you can finally unlock it and drive it around properly and not get banned for it. However, the way you unlock this thing isn't actually that great because the way you unlock it is by being an EA Play subscriber. So, what that means is if you're an Xbox Game Pass subscriber, you've already got EA Play because that's included in Xbox Game Pass, so completely for free. That's how I got it. But if you play on PC or on PlayStation, you're gonna need to sign up and buy EA Play, which costs like five bucks a month or something like that. What I actually find more disappointing than that though is that both of these cars, the Lotus and the Nissan 240Z, are only available online. You can't drive either of these cars in the single player campaign career mode stuff, which is really disappointing, honestly. However, this is where things start to get a little bit better because that third and final car, yes, is the Maybach Mercedes S680. This absolute behemoth of a vehicle. It's essentially a Mercedes S-Class, but on steroids with a massive V12 engine, and it's got a ton of customization. The way you can unlock this thing is by getting 30 stars in hot lap challenges. Yes, Need for Speed Unbound is getting some new challenges, and one of those new challenge types is a hot lap challenge. Essentially, now in the open world, both online and offline, you can find these hot lap challenges anywhere around the map. And essentially, you just have to put in the fastest lap time you can and try to get a certain number of stars. It's kind of like PR stunts that are already in the game. Honestly, though, I actually really enjoyed the hot lap challenges. Anyways, I got 30 stars and unlocked the Maybach, and then we went in and did some customization. To I guess we should just start off with performance. So we do actually have some engine swaps. The stock engine in this thing can build a thousand horsepower, which is awesome. We can swap in a V8, another V8. That's a hybrid. I have no idea what that, is. no way. You can Veyra or Chiron swap this with a W16. That is a 400,000 credit engine swap. It's a centrifugal supercharger that can build 1,500 horsepower for this thing. I guess we'll also get some NOS considering this thing weighs as much as a house. Anyways, we're all already up to S plus class, which is just insane. Keep the upgrades coming. Toss on some really, really good tires. Let's go. Do I want grip tires or road tires? I do kind of want to see how grippy we could actually make it. It's gonna be such a ridiculous car, but I'm so down. I guess we'll also upgrade our clutch. We'll get some faster shifts. Very good. 42,000 bucks for that. We've actually got an eight speed gearbox bone stock. I could downgrade the transmission which actually tanks our PI. So I guess if you're trying to use this thing online, you could get away with doing that. But there is our diff. And then we can go 100% grip. That is ridiculous. 100% grip, baby. Let's go. And then the thing that everybody wants to see, can you actually toss some body kits on this thing? No way you can. So obviously stock Maybach. Then there's a Mansory body kit, which actually looks pretty cool. Then a need for speed body kit. And another need for speed body kit. That's actually wide body kit. We got to jump into all of these parts individually because those just look awesome. All right. No way. Immediately, you can swap the emblem 
to a Maybach emblem. Yo, I love that. Yep, yep. That's the best 2,000 bucks I've ever spent. We can also mess around with the headlights and actually black them out, which does actually look pretty mean, but I think we'll come back to that. I'm not convinced just yet. We can also swap the front button. Nah. No way, you can even Mercedes- Wait, so you could actually turn this into like a regular, regular S-Class AMG. No bumper on this thing is just straight up disrespectful. I like this though. That's a good one. Yeah. I think we might need to do two builds for the Maybach because this is going to be one of those cars where the options are just kind of ridiculous and you can kind of just push the car in any way that you want. So let's get some fancy looking canards on there. Let's start things off with like a race car build and then our next build will be a bannable offense. Anyways, we can make the thing wide body, which just looks awesome. I really like the Mansory one though. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I've never said that before, but that's awesome. Let's go with this wide body kit. That's just, that's just cool. Then we can get some wing mirrors. I don't think I actually will. I'm not gonna lie. I still don't like any of these wing mirrors in Need for Speed Unbound. So yeah, we'll pass on that. Mansory side skirt's not bad. The carbon one's not bad. That's a little plain. I'm gonna go with that one. No, Mansory. Mansory. Then we need our wide body in the rear as well. Thank you very much. This is a ridiculous vehicle. Anyways, you can also toss on a Mansory rear bumper. I love those exhausts immediately. There's a carbon one and... Oh, that one's really cool as well. I never thought I would say this, but Mansory looks awesome. Very good. Then what about the exhaust themselves? We can customize those. Do we want something extra spicy? Those are really, really nice, but the square kind of just works. No, I'm going to do these. Those look cool. Yep, thank you. These are ridiculous part. I'm going with that. These are just insane. What about our rear wing? There is no shot where... Okay, we're... Yeah, we're going to have ridiculous wing. Big country labs. Jeez, jeez. If Mercedes watches this video, I'm going to get blacklisted from ever owning a... Mer Yep. Yep. Worth it. Worth it. I also need a very fitting license plate for this Mercedes. Looking good. I think that looks pretty insane. Let's also slam it to the ground. And then I probably don't need any like fancy other things for this. Oh, wow. Look at this thing with air suspension. That's insane how low you can actually make it. All right. Well, we are S plus class. Let's go and see if we can actually use this thing and make some money. 1,500 horsepower. We are we are fully maxed out. It is a 1v1. Head to head, baby. Nail that launch. Nope, bottled, 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 completely bottled. I've done a challenge. All right, Maybach, I know he's in a lamp. All right, easy win for the Maybach. <laughs> Actually, that does bring up a really good point. I bet you this is gonna be one of the best cars to actually run away from the cops and because it's this big, heavy thing, but it's also insanely fast. You're gonna be able to take down every single cop instantly. I'm not gonna lie. Corners uh, is questionable. If I had to describe the Maybach's handling, it handles like a hippo. Yeah, not, not well. All right, that one was my fault. Even though it is on 100% grip and I tuned it to have as much grip as possible, not so great at that. <laughs> a cornering king event in a Maybach is not something I would usually say. I'm already in last. Even if you go for the perfect launch with this, I don't think it's going to help if I'm honest. All right, let's go though. Up the inside, just... I can kind of bully everybody out of the way. Maybe I could just block everybody from overtaking. We should call this the Mercedes loophole. Uh, F, down. F in chat for him. Yeah, this is where this car is going to struggle. It's a bit slow. I can definitely say for certain it feels like it weighs about 20 billion pounds. The only thing that handles worse than the Maybach is the sun. I mean, somehow we still won. I think it was just because it was a short race and probably everybody saw what I did to the cop and didn't want to mess with me, but that was awesome. To be fair, we probably spent nearly a million bucks on the Maybach, so... It's still got a lot of money to make us, but that was actually a pretty good start. How am I going to turn this thing into a drift car? I think I've got to get drift tires. Even though I've tried to make this thing full drift, I don't think I'm actually going to be able to. I think that's as much drift performance as I can get out of it, and it's 60... 
it's going to be around 60% drift, which I guess kind of makes sense. If I tune this all the way now, yes, yeah, 60%. Okay, I do apologize. I do apologize. I do apologize. Mercedes is going to want this video deleted from the internet. This car just straight up looks ridiculous. <laughs> Let's see what you can do, Maybach. Let's see. We're going to need to save that. Not oh, it's so heavy. That was my worry. That was my really big worry that it was going to be too heavy and that it wouldn't be able to actually go through the corner. Like when I press the gas, look at this. I'm full pressed on the gas now. That corner it actually worked on. I mean, I'm actually getting pretty decent score out here. Even though it's got a 1,500 horsepower, the all-wheel drive just keeps it way way too planted. There's 100% some corners on this racetrack where the Maybach does struggle, where it almost feels too heavy and almost underpowered, which is just strange to say. Anyways, we've already done it. We've already got P1. Are you kidding me? There's the finish line. Thank you very much, Maybach. Easy claps. Let's go. Were the cops nerfed in this update as well? Because I'm not gonna lie, they seem hella bad. I know they're only heat level two, but like straight up, they're slow. All right, well, it's. I think it's time to get away from the cops. I've screwed with them enough. Let's put the hammer down and just casually drive away. And just like that, we're escaping. And there is the safe house. Oh, keep it on the road. Thank you very much. And we are good. Uh, thank you very much. After all of the messing around with the Maybach though, I did want to tell you about some of the other things coming in this update. Like, yes, there are cops in multiplayer now. I took that Bosu Zoku car out into the open world online and tried to mess with some of the cops and you just straight up can and they straight up just work and they chase you. You actually do get money for escaping them the same way you do in single player, which is actually a really nice touch as well. Anyways, some of the other things that are also included in this update are new emotes for your character and those like emotes for your car as well, if you know what I mean. There's also some other things that you can purchase in the game, like keys to the map, which essentially just gives you like access to all of the locations for like all the teddy bears in the game and all of like the artwork in the game. So you can get all of those collectibles done. Not to mention there are also a metric ton of patch notes for this update. The list is honestly absurd. So that's everything for this new Need for Speed Unbound update. I don't know when the next one's going to be dropping, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon with some more. See you then. Bye.